four quarters of lackluster growth, new numbers out of the Eurozone last week confirmed that a long-awaited recovery amongst the 18-country economic and monetary union is no closer to being realized, and in fact may have come to complete halt. Economic growth was reported at 0% for the second quarter after a feeble 0.2% advance in the first quarter of 2014, leading some economists to speculate that Europe may be experiencing its own lost decade, similar to the experience of the Japanese economy. Let's look at some of the more important factors that have contributed to the recent stagnant growth experienced in the Eurozone and prospects for the future. Above all else, Germany, the Union's largest economy, was supposed to be the engine that kept the Eurozone running and took on most of the burden of those countries that either defaulted or were threatening to default on their debt. However, German GDP growth shrank by 0.2% in the second quarter compared to the previous quarter and this has economists worried that a major support could be taken out from under the whole union. But in spite of the disappointing second quarter growth numbers, Europe's largest economy still boasts the lowest unemployment and a favorable business and tax environment that should help the economy prosper in the coming quarters. France and Italy, the union's second and third largest economies, still remain resistant to bringing in politically charged but necessarily tough economic reforms that would help lower costs for businesses and promote job growth. Italy's economy has shrunk in 11 of the past 12 quarters amidst ongoing concerns over the structural reforms necessary to alleviate rigid rules on employment, as well as what has become a choking bureaucracy and widespread corruption. France's economy was flat in the second quarter, but at least it has taken the initial step to cut payroll taxes, although further steps along the path to make it more business friendly have been stalled under the weight of political haggling. The Putin effect, which is the fear that Russian President Vladimir Putin may back an outright invasion of eastern Ukraine by Russian separatists, has had a chilling effect on the business confidence and investment throughout the continent. Although Eurozone exports to Russia comprise only 0.8% of the Union's annual GDP, businesses are hesitant to expand as fear takes hold over what the ultimate political agenda of the Russian President may include. The shooting down of a commercial Malaysian airliner over the Ukraine on July 17th by pro-Russian separatists has only served to heighten fears and tensions amongst the Eurozone members. Few economists believe that the Eurozone will actually slip back into its third recession in the last six years, while most expect only a slow recovery as Europe continues to work down its substantial debts. But despite hopes that the worst ravages of the region's sovereign and banking crises are behind it, the Eurozone's economy remains smaller than it was before the collapse of the Lehman Brothers in the US in the fall of 2008, and underperformance by a trading bloc that has a population of 330 million and accounts for some 17% of world GDP in dollar terms can't help but have some serious consequences for the global economy.